this is Todd again. We're on some of our stops. Some of you have been following us. Uh, we, we did a few of these in, in Branson, and then uh, we did a couple in uh, oh, Nashville. We did some in Nashville. Now we're in uh, East Tennessee, we're in Pigeon Forge. Yesterday we were over in uh, Gatlinburg. Yep, so we're uh, visiting several distilleries. And uh, we just happened to see this one, Tennessee Shine Company. It's a, it's a small operation. It is, but it isn't. Right. And I'm here with, uh, with Dakota and Vic. They, these guys are our uh, experts on, on moonshine. They've got several different flavors. And we're kind of trying out their, their whiskey flavors. And you've got several whiskeys and bourbons, don't you? Yes. What all do you have? We got a Tennessee bourbon. Uh, we have a espresso, a s'mores, a salmon whiskey, and uh, a southern craft corn whiskey, as well as a caramel whiskey. Okay. A lot of our followers on this, on this are uh, Manhattans and fashions, those kind of things. And I think your bourbon would probably go great with that. If you're going to do some other flavored things, I think the, uh, uh, the caramel whiskey. And that probably goes really good with caramel. Caramel yeah. whiskey is the number one seller in the store. Yeah, I kind of figured that. I, that really, could probably really go good in your coffee. Your boss might yes. not appreciate it. But yeah. it's really probably good go coffee. really good in your, in your coffee. Exactly. Um, and I don't know if you even do a maple. Uh, maple wood. That's what we know. That, that could be something maybe in the future. Right, yeah. right. They've got, they've got another whiskey in the works. I'm not going to tell you the name in case it doesn't come out, yeah. but it's going to be a nut for you. Okay. okay. That okay. much I didn't know, but I'm not sure what it would be. Okay. Well, they also go by uh, Tennessee Triple X. Is that right? It actually says Triple X Distillery on the label, on the very bottom in small print. Okay. But the big print is where we had the problem. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to start with some bourbon. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your, your bourbon? It's an uh, Asian barrel. It's 80 proof. It takes uh, about two years to age it. That's actually full. The bourbon. Uh -huh. The bourbon's actually full. Four years. Oh, that's four a years. four year age. That's even better. Four year single barrel. Woo, there's a there's a there's a whole <laughs> taste a right there. Shot. Yeah, that's a good healthy shot. Well, usually when we do these, I don't want to do that where you just slam it down because we usually want to taste it. You see in the cowboy movies and all that, they just like, slam it down. You no, know, a good bourbon. Except we just we want to taste and savor. sip, yeah, and savor it. Exactly. Sit around the campfire, smoke a cigar, sip and burn. That, in my opinion, is best served just no rice. Yes. Yep. Anything. And actually, this was very smooth. It's not one of those where right away it's a yeah, it's really strong alcohol. Mm -hmm. That's, I didn't taste that. It tastes like a uh, four-year age bourbon. Right. Really, really good. Caramel whiskey. Now we mentioned that one yes, earlier. Uh, it's a brief. Okay. Two year. Two year. And this would go good with coffee. And it would probably go good with syrup on your pancakes. Too hard. Too hard. Actually, heat it up. Get like a lotus whiskey. Oh, okay. Like, uh, uh, warm caramel flavor. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. cool. You can pair that with the apple pie. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely delicious. Caramel apple pie. Caramel apple pie. Let's, 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 let's try just a little bit of that and top it off with a little bit of apple pie. Uh, do you guys pie. Do you have a coffee? Uh, not really, no. no. Just we, just, we, just, we experiment a lot. There okay. a lot. I tell everybody there's a lot of drunk afternoons coming up with some of these. Yeah, economies. yeah, let's try this. <laughs> this is our small batch apple pie. It's unfiltered apple soldered with our honey curry cream shot. Ooh. Really tasty. We've got some apple pie with, with the moonshine. We just added some caramel whiskey to it. That should be really good. Yeah, that's almost too good. <laughs> yeah. yeah this, this would be like for ice cream. Yeah. I mean, this is really good stuff. That's yeah. lights out for refining right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a. Yeah. <laughs> And this would actually be good warm too. It'd be like uh, hot apple cider. 
exactly. You know, uh, Halloween, trick or treat. You know, the parents come around. Right. And some fun yep. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. No, oh, that's that was really good. Yeah. So what else we got there? Espresso whiskey. Fifty proof as well. Ten years. Oh, ten years. A little bit of coffee in that. If you exhale, you get more of the coffee mm -hmm. flavor with it. So breathe out. Now, how is that? How is this made? Is it coffee beans? I don't. I don't actually know. Mm -hmm. I just know that distiller secrets. It, well, yeah, it would be one of the distiller secrets, absolutely. <laughs> so this is espresso. This is ready. Yeah, and I can taste the, the espresso with this. And what I think this would be good with, this is kind of like coffee liqueur, where, if, I don't know if you guys are beer drinkers, you like a good thing. Yep. Like a Guinness Stout. Right. right. And I'll take a Guinness Stout, and when I feel like it, I'll add, you know, uh, an ounce of coffee liqueur to it, an ounce of bourbon, and if you like, uh, they're getting real popular with craft beer that's um, put into like old oak bourbon barrels. Right, it right, gives it that edge. Right, exactly. Add a little coffee to it, chocolate, vanilla. And, uh, and you're kind of making your own. And this would be good for that. Yeah. Yeah, this is really good. It's WIBK. It's Blake Shelton versus Bonnie. The buddy with you. It's back. I hope you have a great yeah, that's another tasty. What's, what's good on these that I've tried, it's not too sweet. Where it's almost, not overwhelming. Yeah, yeah, and you're not losing that uh, bourbon whiskey that, it, that it's meant to be. Our uh, now's the s'mores whiskey is another 50 proof. We excel on this one. Oh, okay. It's got kind of a s'mores. Is there a, like a, a chocolate marshmallow or chocolate when you swallow it? Breathe in and out and get your marshmallows. And you grab peppers on the back end. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can taste it already. <laughs> I like the apple pie and the espresso. I'm sure there, there's plenty of people that like this as well. But this is still good stuff. Now, didn't you say that you guys sell a straight moonshine? Yes, sir, we do. We've got two. We've got 100 proof and 135. Because uh, I think anything you can make with vodka. Make the moonshine. Right, right. That's true. Well, actually, like a Bloody Mary. We make our Bloody Marys with 100 proof moonshine. Oh, okay, okay. Very good. I already have it. All right. All right. Now is our Southern Craft Corn Whiskey, 100 proof. Now, what's what's the difference with this? It's, it's got more more corn. This is 100 proof moonshine aged in a charred oak barrel. You'll get the char and the corn in this, and it's 100 proof. Okay. It's 20 proof more than the bourbon. Oh, I see. So it's, it's corn whiskey. Yes, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> you probably don't do a ride, do you? We, we don't as a rule of thumb, but we have on occasion. Occasion we'll do a run in the fall. And we'll do however many jars it makes, that's the run. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the cinnamon. There's there's some out there that are uh, really really almost too cinnamony. This one is more like a red hot. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. a little thing of red hot. And they cook it an extra time and it takes the, the stickiness out that you get with fireball. You know, you get the little stickiness on the back end. Of the mm. <laughs> yeah. The corn whiskey's got a little bit. Yeah, it's got a Now this is a little higher proof. Hundred proof, okay. And then your your moonshine. You said you have 135 proof. Actually, 135 that runs through an extra time to get the alcohol up. Mm -hmm. Actually, it comes out like 180. Yeah, they that's white down. dog. Right. They proof it down with still water. And at 135, it's really great. Ordering to go. Visit BK Wings. Just keep it away from uh, open flames. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> 
if your jet runs out, you know, you got something yeah, if, you can get home with. Yeah, jet fuel. Yeah. That one's right over here. This is the 100 proof moonshine. Yeah. Here. Okay. Here. This isn't too bad. No, it's not. It's, it's, great it's not the, the moonshine that it's so strong that you're almost there to drink it. don't get to check. See, everything we use, we use all spacious equipment, and then when, when they cook it, it picks all of it. This would be good for a blend. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And we've got one that's made for it. Yeah. All you got to do is buy it off the shelf. That's it. No, this, is, this isn't too bad. But it's still, it's still strong enough that... Just that, it's that right there. Mm -hmm. That is that age. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah. And Kane University is proud to offer online education that is student-centered and career-focused. All right. Online programs on relevant fields like healthcare, business, technology, and more. All right. All right. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you how to, how to drink this. You have to, you gotta listen. Okay. But I don't want you to get hurt. You know. get hurt. Toss it back. That's your rate. Take a breath. Toss it back. Swallow it. Breathe out your mouth. You blow all the vapor out of it. The vapor when you get hurt on this, it is really smooth. So take a breath. Toss it. Breathe out your mouth. Don't breathe through your nose. You'll hit me all night. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 I can, I, I can sit for right there just in the water glass and it's nice, just kick back, grab the handle on the recliner and it's all good. So the other, the hundreds for like tailgating. Yes. And then yeah. the, the 135, that's when you're... That's when you want, when you're a connoisseur. Yeah, when you're exactly. a connoisseur, you're yeah. like serious. All right. All right, the, uh, the cinnamon whiskey. 66.6 proof. Okay. This is the... Uh, Candy's Red Hots. Guys, I've actually made a Bloody Mary with cinnamon whiskey. It wasn't my favorite. I just kind of experimented. Right. Uh, sometimes it's just too cinnamony. Right. Go ahead and give a taste of that Bloody Mary. This might go a, good, a little bit with the, uh, the apple Right. This one's going to be awesome. No, this is good. This is good. This is good. Is it real? I call it the stick that has to be nasty. It's like you give me a fireball or something. Cooks it out. No, that's not bad. This right, this right here is that's breakfast. This is the Bloody Mary mix. Spicy, but it's not over. Well, this is good too. Yeah, this wouldn't last very long in the house. <laughs> the Bloody Mary mix too. Mm -hmm. Chicken wings, chicken steaks, marinade. Oh, yes. Yep. Yep. Cooking with it. You don't have to put the booze in it for that. Mm -hmm. It's just a big thing. Right. How are you all tonight? All right. How are you doing? Well, we're oh, this is good stuff. <laughs> now, for, uh, for a bottle of this, how much is a bottle? Uh, what are some of the deals? Whiskies. The only difference is with our 35 proof is about 35, and then the bourbon is 35. So I think I'll probably pick up some bourbon because I've got some friends of mine that are really like bourbon, and maybe even some, some uh, whiskey too. Uh, Dakota, thanks for helping us out with this. And uh, like they said, we're in East Tennessee in uh, Pigeon Forge, actually doing a, uh, a round of moonshine. It's one of your smaller distilleries. It's not the big, big uh, group that they just go out and make it, put a label on it, and sell it to everybody. But, you know, this is all good stuff. It's real, 135 proof. But thank you so much for, for doing this. And uh, we might get some likes, you know. All right. Thanks. Thank you.